Now we're going to do a problem that is an actual workout problem. It says a force of 500 newtons and another force of 350 newtons are applied on an object perpendicular to each other. So in this uh, problem, we don't really care about their direction as long as they're basically perpendicular. Uh, what is the magnitude of the net force on this object? So imagine this is a block right here, and we exert a force here, uh, 500 newtons, right? And then we exert another force here, 350 newtons. So this is an example of a vector addition problem, right? Somebody exerts a force like this, 500 newtons, 350 newtons. We could put this vector to the tip of that vector. That's going to give us the sum of the two vectors, right? So what is the magnitude of the net force on the object? So since these two vectors are perpendicular to each other, I can use the simple Pythagorean theorem. The, this quantity squared, this is the hypotenuse of this triangle. This squared is equal to this squared plus this squared, right? And this is also 350. So F squared is 500 squared plus 350 squared. Okay, so we can solve for that. 500 squared is going to be uh, uh, 250,000, right? Plus um, uh, 50, uh, 350 squared is going to be 122,500, right? Then when you add 122,500, um, plus 250,000, 372,000, right? F squared, 372,500. Then you're going to take square root of this, and that gives you the magnitude of the net force, right? And it should be larger than either one alone, because it's the hypotenuse of the triangle. So that's going to be... 610.33 newtons, right? In this case, since we're only looking at its magnitude, it, it didn't matter. If I could, I could have made this 300, 350, I could have made the vertical force 500, then the angle of the force will change, but its magnitude is gonna stay the same, right? So it's gonna be like this. I could make this 350, I could make this 500, it's going to look like this, and the force is going to be this. Its angle changes, becomes a steeper, but its magnitude stays 610. Okay? Uh, I, the problem could also give us the mass of the object. You could say the mass is 10 kilograms. We, you can ask, what's the magnitude of the acceleration of the object? What is the magnitude of the acceleration of the object? Well, you will accelerate in the same direction as the net force on it, right? Then we can say F is equal to MA. If I know that the net force on it has a magnitude of 610 newtons, 0.33, the mass is 10 kilograms, right? If the mass was 10 kilogram, then I would just simply divide the net force by the mass. And then I would get the acceleration is 61.033 meter per second squared. Okay, so the acceleration would be 61 meter per second squared by simply dividing the force by the mass of the object. Okay, thank you very much.